Hello guys, welcome back to part 11 of Two Classes of Love. I'm Miss Kira Tukai, let's go. She's my girlfriend's roommate. We're supposed to spend time alone. I wish I could always be with you. My face turns red in an instant, and I have this feeling in my chest. I can only look at the floor. We're going to be together. After all, we're like a household now. As I regret how stupid my words sound, I try to look up and dare to see her face to face. My eyes begin to roam her long, thick legs, bare in the night air, trimmed by her tight black skirt, marking the shape of her belly. Then, that fine lace shirt that gives away how tiny and adorable she is. Finally, her delicate neck, white as snow, long and slender, like a princess's. Then I notice something different. What are you looking for me? Nothing. I'm sorry. I wasn't that I... I'm just wondering if you're comparing the size of my breast to hers. No, no, I was just looking at the necklace. It's new. I've never seen it before. Oh, uh, it is. It's a lock. A lock? How unusual. I know. It has some kind of meaning to me. <laughs> It looks a little tight, like it's not your size. That's because I've had it since I was younger. I grew up a little, but it still fits. You've never used it till now. I remember this, this morning. I knew I had it somewhere. It took me a long time to find it. Does it look nice to me? Uh, yeah, it looks really good on you. But also very tight. Doesn't it hurt you? It chokes me up a little bit, to be honest. He could get a new one, a bigger one. This one's special, plus it helps me remember things. Um, you mean the lock or the choke? <laughs> There's a lot more about this necklace, but I don't think I can show it to you just here. Maybe it's just some sort of amulet for her. I don't know much about superstitions, only that it looks pretty sexy on her. We'd better go home while the food is still warm. Marina held my arm all the way home. Silence reigned between us, but it felt good to enjoy the quiet night together. After the walk with my energy was renewed, I took the pizza to the living room along with everything we needed to have dinner. I thought it was a good idea to have dinner on the floor and continue with that calm atmosphere. I called the girls over, each sat in opposite places, leaving me in the middle. The puff looked so relaxed. I can't be sure whether their good mood was a reflection of mine, or mine was due to them. It's so quiet. I should turn on the TV. Nancy looks for the remote control with her only oily hand. We're holding a slice of pizza with the other. Nah, we better talk about something. What did you do today? I mean, right after I left for work. I watched TV. I should have known. But today I took a lot of risks. I venture into channels I never watch. Did you discover something new? A lot about politics or cooking channels. I hate cooking channels. But I finally found a documentary about animals. What was it about? It was about an animal that looked, took care of its young. Like a lioness. Only she wasn't a lioness, you know? Those animals that look alike but are not the same. I love those animal documentaries. Her puppies were very goofy and put themselves in danger all the time. It had a lot of great shots of the mother fighting off other animals who wanted to devour her young. It was amazing. It's hard to imagine how they managed to film that in the middle of the jungle. Did the cops, the cops make it? Yeah, no other animal could hurt them. The lioness was quite a warrior. That's good. But in the end, the mother chose which cups would not survive and devoured them alive. <laughs> oh, that's awful. She made the best decision for her household, although it seems that she preferred to devour the females. I'm not sure why. To eliminate the competition. That's it. I didn't remember that. Opening her mouth wide, Nancy gobbles down a large slice of pizza while she closing her eyes to savor it to the fullest. The oil drop drips from the corners of her lips, but it doesn't seem to bother her. 
Marina takes another slice of pizza, but before she puts it in her mouth, she starts talking it without noticing the cheese melting on her skirt. I cleaned up a bit, but mostly I studied. I haven't been studying enough lately, and I saw a butterfly at my window. It was a beautiful and colorful one. Did you catch her? I put her on a leash and made her my pet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They scare me. I only like to see them from afar. I would have put it in a jar. Then I could look at it all the time. She, if she's beautiful, I want to have her for myself. But she will die. If you like her, you should let her go. But if the window had been open, a butterfly would have come in on its own. That means it's yours. But it's not enough that it has pretty color. If you like it, you should throw her out. With a swift movement, Marina points the direction of the exit door with a slice of pizza. Thanks to my reflexes, I managed to dodge the cheese propelled with such a conviction. Just like that, I'd feel sorry for the butterfly. You know what happens when you let a butterfly in? She starts flying all over the place and crashing into walls. <gasps> At that moment, you have to make a real act of love. Throw it out the window. She's asking for it. <laughs> what a strange philosophy. Hey, how was your day at the office? My day. The temptation to express my discomfort with my work in life is very strong. But just by looking at the girls sitting around the pizza box, I dismissed the idea immediately. They're so carefree about everything. I want to keep it that way. It's good to be home with you. I think this is my favorite part of the day. All together. What fun it is to eat on the floor. Eat pizza on the floor, right out of the box. It's my idea of paradise. I agree. Oops, I dropped the cheese on my carpet. <laughs> Never mind. It cleans up easy. Or so I think. Only two slices survived our last for pizza, but I'm so full. Me too. Oh, that's enough for me. I can't fit one more bite. Well, I guess they'll be left over for tomorrow. Hey, will you watch another movie today? No, I think I need a good night's sleep today. You're right. <sighs> I'm very tired too. We'd better go to bed. Marina can pick up all this. Why me? No need. I can clean everything before I go to bed. You're very tired. It's evident. Leave it to Marina. I don't want to. I want to sleep. Don't argue, just do it. Why don't you do it? I'm exhausted. I only want to go to bed. With my boyfriend. There's no need to argue over something so small. You said yourself you wasted the whole day watching TV. I can't imagine how you got so exhausted by that. They're just ignoring me. So guys, I'm gonna close the video here. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye!